the plan view page inside of the SI5 Visio interface uh, is intended for an overhead view of the project file, uh, most likely on a floor plan, where you would drag over shapes like uh, in-ceiling speakers, wall plates, where uh, touch panels might be going, again, to show uh, the uh, overhead view. Now, um, the floor plan that you insert, you know, you could, it's, Visio has a lot of flexibility with that. It allows you to insert JPEGs, PDFs, CAD files, and you can even draw your own uh, floor plan in here. Visio is a full drawing tool. Um, in this example, I'm going to insert an AutoCAD drawing. Uh, it is in the year 2000, and that's a requirement. You have to have your AutoCAD file back in the year 2000 um, saved to that format in order to get inside of uh, or be inserted into Visio. So um, I have one ready to go here, and I'm not going to insert the AutoCAD drawing right here on the plan view page itself. What I'm going to do is make use of the background pages inside of Visio. Uh, background pages like this one here, the background title page, which contains this shape, um, they don't print. They're just here to be linked to other uh, foreground pages. So uh, I'm going to base mine off of this and choose to insert a page with the right click option there. I'm going to rename this uh, background and then floor plan. And I'm going to choose OK to create the file, or the page, I should say. And here's the uh, page types. And since I'm doing a plan view, I'm going to choose plan. Uh, you won't actually be dropping shapes directly on this background page. So all we're going to do here is insert that CAD drawing. So to do that, it's a uh, function in Visio. Go to insert CAD drawing. Select your CAD file. And here it looks like it's going to insert a little too large. Uh, it gives you a little um, preview here. I'm going to switch this to architectural and give quarter inch equals a foot a shot. Um, that's a standard that you could start with at least. And that looks like it's going to fit. Um, you may want to try, you know, with custom sizes if to really maximize the space. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just insert this as is. And you can see it fits on the page here. And now what I'm going to do is go to the plan view page and link this plan view page to the background page via file page setup go to the page properties and then you can see it's currently linked to that title page go to the background floor plan uh, choose OK and now the floor plan is here but it's not really here I can't actually click on that because it doesn't exist here it's just linked to that background page and now what you're gonna wanna do is drag over your plan view shapes in this case let's do speakers uh, see it's a kitchen scroll down here to the kitchen and I'm gonna select a speaker and drag it over to the page and what you get is a real simple icon representation here uh, of a speaker. Circular, it says SPK, and it has the unique ID on that. Uh, I could pull the other one over if I wanted to and position it. Uh, put them exactly where they're going to be, and obviously, uh, in this case, I might want to add more speakers. You can visually see that, that these aren't going to quite cut it in this location. Um, I'll even pull over a wire for you here. That was an accessory to that product, and make the wire attachment. Let me zoom in here so you can see that. You can... Uh, position these around however you want, but that snapped into place there, the little red indicator, to show that that wire is attached to that particular speaker. And uh, that's how you do a plan view page uh, in the SI5 Visio interface. Let me go ahead and show you a uh, finished one of these here in another project to give you an idea that on the floor plan you've put in all the icon representations uh, for the devices going in this project.